I'm going to show you how to archive existing wave maps and install our downloadable wave maps into ToneDexter. In this example, I'll be installing a set of wave maps for the Yamaha SLG 200N nylon string silent guitar. First of all, power up ToneDexter and check the firmware version. That's the software in ToneDexter. If your version is 1.40 or higher, you're fine. If not, download and install the latest firmware. My version is 1.54, which is OK. Now take an SD card and connect it to your computer. Make sure it's formatted as FAT32. I've got a Mac, so I'll use Disk Utility to format the drive for FAT, which in the Mac world means FAT32. If you're using Windows, make sure you specify FAT32 and not FAT or XFAT. Now go to the Audio Sprockets web and under the Support section, select the WaveMap download page and download the WaveMap set you want to install. My Mac has unzipped the file. Switch to the WaveMap transfer page and download the WaveMap transfer utility. Finally, go to the Firmware download page and download the latest version of firmware. GEN, G-E-N, is for instruments such as guitars and cellos. HI, H-G-H, is for higher pitched instruments such as violin and banjo. BASS, B-A-S, is for the upright bass. Now copy the appropriate app.bin transfer utility, GEN or bass. In this case, I'll copy the GEN file from the transfer folder, XFR, to the top level of the SD card. I want to install the Yamaha SLG200 nylon string wave maps to ToneDexter, so I create a write folder on the SD card and copy across the three Yamaha wave maps. I need to rename these in the format 01.wm to 22.wm. In this example, I'm renaming them 01 to 03, so they'll install in the first three slots of my ToneDexter. After ejecting the SD card from my Mac, and making sure my Tone Dexter has been powered down for at least 15 seconds, I plug the SD card into Tone Dexter and power it up. Tone Dexter shows transfer, XFR. And after the countdown, shows R for reading and backing up all my existing wave maps, and then shows W for writing the new wave maps. In this example, installing the three new silent guitar wave maps into the first three slots, R1, R2 and R3. It shows done, D-U-N, when it's done. Now I can take the SD card and plug it back into my Mac. The new read folder on the card has all my existing wave maps, and I'll create a backup folder for these wave maps and copy them to this folder as a safety archive. Since you probably know what these wave maps were created for, which instruments, which mics are used, position of mics, etc., you may also choose to rename these with long, meaningful file names to keep things straight. The right folder contains the three new wave maps that have been installed into my ToneDexter, R1, R2 and R3 memory slots. The app.bin is the transfer utility that I just used. Since I've backed up all my wave maps, I'll erase the SD card. Now I need to reinstall the ToneDexter firmware. The V154GEN folder has the latest firmware that I downloaded earlier. Since I'm doing a restore from transfer mode, the restore process will only take a few seconds if app.bin is there by itself, rather than a few minutes if the dsp.bin is also present. So I copy the app.bin file to the SD card, eject it, and plug it into my tone dexter which must have been switched off for at least 15 seconds. As soon as I power up ToneDexter, the firmware is installed and I'm ready to go. In this example, the first three slots will have the new silent guitar wave maps. All the other slots from R4 to R22 will have my original wave maps. 